Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and another new video on the Escort RS Turbo. In today's video, we are going to look at fitting the outer sill on the passenger side and hopefully getting this passenger side finished off. But before we get into uh, fitting the, the over sill, um, I'd like to thank all you guys for your comments on how to attack the the front wing on on the car because if you go back a couple of videos um i i didn't really want to take that wing off and disturb all the, the worlds and everything else that the uh, factory uh the factory worlds so a lot of you guys all suggested the same way as to basically cut the bottom of the wing off and i'd like to take a minute just to thank sid's xr3i restorations for his little video that he made on how he done his. So thank you very much Sid, much appreciated. And thanks to all you guys for your comments on how to do it as well. So this is the full seal that we're gonna be putting on, on the car. And I've already cleaned up the inside and primed it and used etch primer where we're gonna weld and then used some epoxy primer just to protect the inside of the of the seal. So what we do is we go down and have a have a, another look at the front of the seal and the area that needs a bit of work, and potentially where we're going to cut this uh, front front wing. I don't know if you, you can I don't know if you can see there's a little bit of work that needs to be done here. So what we think we do is. A bit difficult trying to lay down is we cut cut this off and then weld a new um like 90 degree section in here um we clean this up i have had a little bit of a poke around under here even though it looks a little bit scabby i think it's just where just sort of surface where the uh under seal sort of cracked and it's got behind it i haven't actually found anything that's gone through yet so we'll look at that at another time. But today, I think we'll get this cut, I think possibly somewhere about here. Um, I think it's like almost like where Sid cut his. Um, the only reason why I don't want to cut any higher, because obviously we've got, a, it, the wing returns back to the A pillar. And I was going to take this door off, and I have had a little play with it, but it seems to be the pins seem to be very difficult to get out at the moment so um i actually took the glove box out to see if i can get to the the hinge bolts up the top here because we can get to these ones here um we can get to the ones in here to, un to, to undo them but the ones up there I think what we'll end up doing, if, if we need to, we'll end up taking this pipe, this, uh, um, the, the air pipe out and then we can get the foam out of the back there and undo those bolts. But I think what we do is we leave the door on as long as possible because ultimately I want to try and use the door to line up the seal and everything. So we'll leave it on while we're fitting the seal uh, as in dry fitting it not not welding it on so we get it into place and also before um we weld it on once it's in place we can then get this section in and we can basically see whether it's going to interfere on the back of the seal once that's in so we get that sort of screwed in for now just to hold it and then we get the seal put on and just make sure it all clears so what i think we're do now is we're we're cleaning up the underside of this this wing we drill out the spot welds and then we mark that and cut that and then we know what state it is behind that wing
So you just see in the time lapse, I've cut the bottom of the passenger side wing off. And um, to be honest, the uh, the bit that I cut off isn't too bad. I may end up just rebuilding this little bit, the little return lip there, but the actual wing itself is still very solid. So um, that'll all be good to go again. And as you can see, if I can move this light so we don't get any rust, um, don't get any shadow, any rust. What a numpty. Um, yeah, so it's a little bit worse than I thought it may be, may have been there, but until we dig into it and see the extent of it, I'm not too sure how, how I'm going to attack that just yet. But under here, I think we can get away with cutting this up through here, maybe, and joining the, joining the sill uh, over the top without disturbing too much of it up the up the A pillar. But until we start digging into it, we we can't I can't really tell. Um we'll probably should have to cut this off through here, replace like an inch up the panel and then a return back to the inner seal and that'll get rid of all that. Um yeah, so it's is it as bad as I thought it was gonna be? Yes, I suppose I suppose it is. This bit's a little bit worse than I thought it might have been. But I'm sure we'll uh, we'll attack it and, and get it all sorted out and and weld it all back up again. So I've made this repair section off camera earlier today. Um I managed to get about an hour or so on it. So what I'll do is I'll mark this and cut it and we get this um, tacked on. But I believe the other panel tacked it, welded it, welded on under here. But what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to spot weld it this way. So it ties all this up nicely. And then we'll look at um, <clears throat> addressing this section here. I think this bit will come out when I cut this out. And then what I'm going to do is make, I'm going to copy this piece of a bit of cardboard and get it to wrap round so we can reuse the fixing for the um, inner, the plastic wing liner. Um, but whether I end up cutting a section of this out to get behind to this and then repairing this and then sitting this, setting this back, welding that back in, I'm not too sure yet, but what I think we do is we cut this off and then we clean this up and see how bad it is. I mean, I've, I've given this a bit of a grind up and it's it's sort of cleaned up quite nicely back to metal again. Um, I think with a bit of treatment, that, that should be okay. But again, until we cut this off here, we can assess this properly. So what I'll do is I'll get this marked and cut and then um, we get ready just to tack this, tack this in for now. So I'll put it on the time lapse while we cut it and go from there. So we've got that tacked into place now. So what I'll do is I'll trim the seal so it fits over the original car seal. And then we can start working out where to cut it and um, get it to fit nicely. So 
I've trimmed some metal off of the back of the seal and the top of this top edge of the seal there where it goes back to the inner seal and also I've cut this back at the front here but I've left this on because we may end up cutting a section off of that one um, but what I did notice is that there's a couple of these little drain grooves in the original in the original seals there which I'm beginning to think I want to keep because effectively if I ever showed the car when you open the door you're, you, if you know what you're looking for you'll be able to see that these aren't here anymore so you'll, you'll obviously work out that it's had new new outer seals on so what I'm planning on doing is cutting it back here joining it there and then welding along this front edge here um i'm probably adding twice the amount of work involved into it but i think it will be a nicer job at, at the end but by allowing, by cutting that excess metal off if i can do this one-handed allow it's allowed me to to get that on to get that on mark it where it lies and i've measured back to where I want to cut it, so effectively we're cutting it along here, and then we can see where somebody's when they've already cut the seal out, they cut a little bit more than they needed to there. So we'll have to look at we'll have to look at putting a piece in there, but with the door shut, it actually doesn't look too bad. But what I need to do now is I'm gonna. Trim it back a little bit more through there and potentially take this out so we use we will reuse this line here. So what I've done is I've marked I've pulled the seal back so it's here in line so this crease the door shut crease is in line with the original door shut uh, crease and I've marked it here and here. So what I'm planning on doing is cutting it down here the old cut and butt again cut it down there and the new seal will come back here but and keeping this original curve here so i'm hoping that'll be easier to line the door up so what i need to do now is get this cut and get that end cut and then we can look at trimming the original section here out, out of the car and then we can look at cutting this in but again like a bit like a cut and butt cut it in and get it down so it's in line with here and then that will give us our position a correct position for this to go back in and around because at the moment by putting it there and joining it on if I was to cut this now this seal would drop down and we'd end up with a bigger gap which is what happened if you Remember back in our previous videos, I had a gap, a hole, a gap there, and a gap there because when I put the um, when I put the inner seal over the other one and scribed round it, when we cut it and dropped it in, we ended up with a sort of four or five mil gap there. So I'm going to try and avoid that with the seals. So I'll get this cut and then we will drop it back in and we'll um, carry on from there. So I've got this seal trimmed up. A bit more now you see i've already tried cutting this here and the front's cut back to there and i've managed to get it clamped up underneath as well i've trimmed this back i've trimmed this back here but i've had to just bend that little reshape that bit there just so it fits into the corner a bit better but i think with with oh sorry with the front of this as i probably said earlier i'll probably end up cutting this this bit front off so we can get to the back of this and uh repair that uh, repair that bit so what i'll do now is i'll drop it onto a bit more time lapse and we get this 
fitted nicely. I mean, that gap there has come out okay. And again here, I trimmed the body back so it's virtually flush here. But I think when we come to fitting it, I'm going to cut all this out without spotting it, welding it as I go along. Purely because I want to be able to take out the metal that falls away and um, deal with that front bit to, make, to get that bit nice. So what I want to do is be able to take this back off once I've cut it, prepare it all, like epoxy primer it all inside, and then put it all back on and then go for the weld. So I'm hoping that will work out okay with this. So let's crack on. Okay, so here is the seal cutting flush here and over here. And I've re-tacked it with some screws to hold it in, into place. And if I shut the door now, it's got quite a nice gap. But it also, I don't fucking show you. It's nice and flush with, this, with the door, so it runs in front, it's not sticking out or it's gone under. Um, it's a little bit out here, but what I've got to do now, I think I'll do that now rather than leave it so I tack it in, is I'm going to cut this out and then this will go back the thickness of this metal and hopefully... Um, this will then be as flush as it is at the back of the sill. But if you see here, you can see how much this sill has dropped by letting it in flush here. So what I'll do is I'll get this, I'll get all this cut here and just open the door a second. Oh, I'm stuck. It's trouble working in such a small, such a small garage. Right, I've got the door open now. I'm going to cut this along here now. I'll probably end up using the old Dremel to get into here. I don't think my, my little disc cutter and my drill is going to fit in there. So I'll get, the, I'll get that bit cut and then we'll drop back in. Because I think once that's cut, we can then cut this and that will be ready to be welded in. So I'll do that now and drop back in. Right, I've got the seal all cut nicely so it fits up against the new seal. And what I did is I cut the bottom of this A pillar out because we had a little bit of corrosion build up here. So I've taken that off. It's just starting to corrode between the two panels really. Um, to be honest, this metal's cleaned up nicely here, but I think I'm going to have to cut this now and the back of this to repair this section. So I think this is going to have to be done before we put the overseal on because it comes down and I want it to tie in here. 
So it strengthens all this corner up rather than sort of cut it and have a little section here, this welding back on that section. So I'm trying to keep as many sections complete as possible. So I think our next job before we go any further with this outer seal is to get this cut and this cut, that sorted out, back together, this tied up and the little box section down there tacked in and welded on. And then we're ready to whack this seal on. So I'm going to cut this now and we'll see how bad this rust is behind it. Here's this section all cut out now. So I've removed the outer section, the inner section of the A pillar. And then we've got this piece of uh, body, oh, that's the actual seal, I think, um, here. And we've got a little hole here. But if you look un un under here on the escort, this is not, I assume this would be the, like a jacking point. But this hole, only goes into this void here. So if you look, I'm going to stick this piece of there. So that's actually outside of the passenger footwell within the car. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to cut that through here and down here and get rid of this pitted area here because a little bit more worse for wear than it was down here so we're going to cut this out cut that out template and make a new piece get that welded in make a new piece to go on here to wrap around here for the uh plastic wheel arch inner wheel arch to clip on and then we can get this section welded back in here and then we can get on with the outer seal so I'm going to get this one cut out now so that's all the uh, rock cut out on that section there as you can probably see inside it's very strong very sound inside no rust but what I will do is try and spray a bit of bit of well through primer in the area and then when we're finished when the car's done and it's all welded up we stick some spray some wax oil up inside here to treat all this and make sure that um it doesn't rust again so guys i made a uh, paper template of the sections and this is what we've got so far this piece is to replace this and that piece I've already got clamped into place, ready to be welded in. And then that bit will go back up there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set the camera up and get the welder out. And we get this tacked into place. And we get that bit into position. And so I'm going to set you up and I'll get that welded in.
So we've got this uh, this X this panel welded in, but unfortunately, guys, I've run out of welding wire. So until I uh, I've just ordered some more, so hopefully it should come tomorrow. Um, I've got a little bit more to do there and to fill this in a bit more and to weld around here. Um, and I think this will be done. And then we can get this piece let back in here, which would finish this section of the A pillar off. Except obviously set for this bit once the seal goes on. But I think, guys, that's going to be enough for this video. Um, I can't carry on until the welding wire turns up. And I need to get this video out for you guys. Um, so, yeah, I think that's going to be it for now. So we've made some good progress on the card over the last few days. It's such a shame that the welding wire has run out. I should have uh, checked that. So this one is obviously going to be a two-part video. And do look out for the next video over the next week or so where we can uh, finish off the, the seal and get that all tied up. Once again, guys, I'd like to thank Sid over at Sid's XR3 Eye Restorations. If you haven't uh, seen Sid's video, do go over and watch a few of his videos. He's uh, restoring his XR3 Eye Cabriolet. So go over there, give him a, give him a like and a subscribe and uh, help, him, help him grow his channel too. But I'd like to thank you all for watching my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, do please consider subscribing. It does help uh, grow, grow the channel. And so once again, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.